everyone, how's everyone doing today? Uh, how many of you all buy supplements and work out? Okay, our company is a vitamin shop with two P's. Uh, and we are teaming up with DISD and came up with the Fit for All program. The vitamin shop is a retailer of vitamins, supplements, and sports nutrition for everyone based on their needs. The Dallas Independent <coughs> School District is a school district which manages schools in the Dallas County area and, and, and is the big, second biggest school district in Texas. Our main focus is on high school students. The Fit for All program is sponsored by the Vitamin Shop and it will be held throughout summer so students can learn to be fit and healthy over the summer and, and implement the knowledge, advice, and techniques throughout the following school year to battle obesity given by our company. We are here to present health devotees who are ardent about fitness and nutrition and aiding others to achieve their physical goals and to be in shape. We are loyal in our mission of encouraging a community of compatible-minded, health-inspired people. So why DISD? We chose DISD because it is a well-known school district and has numerous health-related <coughs> issues regarding lack of exercise and inadequate nutrition leading to obesity. One out of five children, ages from 10 to 17 in Texas, are obese. Out of the DISD, high school students, 16% are overweight and 20% are at the risk of becoming overweight. Only 15% of the high school students are considered healthy, as in on a habitual basis, they exercise and diet correctly. So what exactly causes obesity? One of the most common sources of obesity is genetics. Another source is lack of physical activity. This could be a result of laziness, um, lack of the necessary resources, or just a busy schedule. The third common source is unhealthy eating patterns, and this is linked to our cheap and easy access to food, or fatty food. And in rare cases, medical conditions such as hypothyroidism, hypothyroidism <coughs> could lead to an overweight problem. Anyone who is obese, compared to those at a normal healthy weight, are at an increased risk for many serious diseases. The short and long-term effects of obesity can be seen in the psychological and health consequences. For psychological consequences, we have depression, low self-esteem, and behavior and learning. <coughs> for children and teenagers, for children and teenagers, these problems could lead to bullying and interference with their education. For health concerns, we have diabetes, heart disease, arthritis, and cancer. Furthermore, obese children are more likely to be obese as adults, which would increase their risk for these diseases. The goal of the Fit for All program is to firstly educate students. We want to educate the students about the perils of having a abnormally high level of body fat. For example, explaining the balance between how calories are burned and how they're taken in would be a lesson that we could teach them. We could also teach them the importance and effects of taking vitamins on a daily basis. Using all this information and education, the students will be able to set goals that are specific and accurate for themselves. Our second goal is to promote a healthy and active lifestyle. We would explain the impact of healthy foods on our bodies and why eating right and exercising <coughs> is important to both our mental and physical health. Okay, so we will be sponsoring the Fit for All program, which will last for about three months during the summer. Um, it will run from Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m and it will be um, held at the DISD local schools, and it will also be in conjunction with the summer uh, food service program that they have at the schools. Um, to provide education, fitness trainers will be hired to help teach um, <coughs> students different workouts and exercises, and also how to help them come up with, um, with their own training program as well. Um, guest speakers will include dietitians, um, and they will also, I'm sorry, they will include, the dietitians will teach the students about healthy eating habits, and how they will also um, help, come, help the students come up with a healthy meal plan as well. Um, so a few of the requirements that we have include focusing, we're pretty much just solely only focusing on high school students themselves. Uh, the participants <laughs> must also be considered overweight according to the BMI chart that we have. Um, spots for the program are fairly limited. It'll only be 100 spots. So with that being said, um, the students will have to um, fill out a registration form one, uh, one month prior to the program. Okay, so for the plan, first we have um, the students who are going to go ahead and record their current weight and what they eat on a daily basis. Um, two, they will also set a healthy weight goal for themselves and what they're, according to what their trainers and their uh, dietitians believe is best for them. 
um, three, they will, I guess throughout the program, they're also going to have to, um, they will be required to have a bi-weekly weigh-in, um, and they'll also have to report their uh, mail, mail records sometimes. Fourth, we hope that at the end of the program, <coughs> the overall BMI for each student will be lowered, and they will also hopefully be he um, consuming healthier meals as well. So the staff will include four trainers, uh, one for every 25 students. Um, this will help them implement uh, workouts as well as new exercises for each student, or for all of the students. Um, we also will have four dietitians, one for every 25 students. Um, and they will be there for the first week of the program, and then after that, they'll just be there every other Thursday. And then they'll pretty much just be there just to check up on the meal plans of the students and how they're doing. And um, they're also going to monitor, monitor the meals that they have and uh, make sure that they're balanced. And everything. Um, they will have, there will also be 18 to 20 volunteers, um, which will consist of teachers and parents. And they're pretty much just going to be there, I guess, as long as they have time out of their busy schedules, to just, just to kind of be there to monitor the kids and make sure that everything is running smoothly. And then last but not least, we'll have three or four bus drivers, just depending on the day and then how many students there are for that day. And they'll obviously be there for just um, transportation to get the kids to and from the school. We calculated the budget by taking the hourly wages of the trainers and dietitians, and the wages of the trainers came out to be about $17,280 over the course of our program. And the dietitians are much lower at $1,512 because they're only in part-time uh, compared to the trainers. And we're going to save money in our plan by hoping that volunteers will sacrifice their time to help us. And also the bus drivers should be paid still by the school district so we won't have to worry about their cost. And uh, vitamins, as much as that is, we're going to estimate about $1,000 to get some samples to all the students in the program. And the grand total of that is $19,792, and we will ask the Chamber of Commerce for half of that. And the financial effects of obesity, we realize our budget is a little bit pricey for a program like this just over the summers, but we think that in the long run, cutting down these costs will benefit everyone because uh, healthcare costs have continued to rise as obesity levels have risen, and they will continue to rise unless, you know, obesity slows down. And uh, obesity-related illnesses make up about 21% of total medical costs in the United States. That equates to about $190 billion annually, so that is a lot of money. And uh, as well as the illnesses, obesity-related Related to absenteeism, which is like, you know, missing work in school, that costs about almost $9,000 annually. So, if we work to cut down on obesity, I think it'll be a good investment in the long run because we're, we're talking about lots and lots of billions of dollars. And as if the economic impact wasn't enough to really cut down on obesity, each individual should or can experience these benefits of a confidence you know, they're going to feel better and look better about themselves, decrease stress on mentally and also their just internal organs like the heart and stuff like that, being overweight. They should have fewer sick days, which again, like I mentioned, the absenteeism. And uh, they're going to have less pain, more comfort, you know, you're going to be feeling better, your body's going to appreciate it. And with a healthy body comes a healthy mind, so you're going to be thinking more clearly, have a sharp mind, and uh, just an overall increase in the quality of life of these students is what we're aiming for here. This was uh, Robert Robbins with Vitamin Shop. Valerie Burns, Tiffany Lee. And Velocity. And uh, thank you guys for your time. Do you have any questions? Questions? I'll lead off. Uh, oh, go. Uh, considering that uh, there are students who are at risk, why would you develop a program? I'm sorry? Considering that there are students who are at risk, why would you develop a program? Why would they be overweight? Oh, right. Well, the program's kind of focused around weight loss, not really like weight gain prevention. So. 
uh, that'd be a good thing to look into, I guess. Just teaching them how to stay on the right course, I guess. That, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah. Where do you get your PMI numbers from? The BMI numbers? Yeah, like the scale that you mentioned earlier. Right, it's actually a chart. I guess it's like a it is. I guess it's just like the regular chart that um, usually, I guess, fitness enthusiasts as well as workout trainers, they usually go by this chart in particular. Um, I probably should have posted it on here just so you can get a good look. They have ranges as well as what's a healthy weight, what's um, a, some, like, am I healthy, and then it goes to overweight and then obesity. So it, it just goes based on those percentages. Um, I guess that I should have probably put that on here just so you can get a better idea of what that actually looks like. But it's what usually people go by just to keep track of where your weight is and how healthy you are. Any other questions? Thank you.